Hello friends, new friends, music friends, fashion friends and travel friends. Welcome back to a new video. Today I will share my travel experience by train, plane. After so many requests from you guys on my Instagram, how was it to fly again? For someone who used to fly every week, at least two, three times, and now maybe once in two, three months, a travel experience has been kind of strange for me. Safety first, and after safety comes a mask. What to wear? I freaked out, shit, I have to wear a mask during a long flight from the US back to Europe? Uh, how I will survive this? Can I breathe? So I asked a couple of medical people, doctors, my mom who works in the hospital and has to wear a mask for 12, 14 hours during operation. Let's start with my top three of masks. You have the one time use blue mask. Now you have them also in pink and black and other colors. These are super light, so when it's warm outside, you won't sweat too much. You just bring them on and open it. And a lot of people asked also, what is the top and what is the bottom? There is this little metal thing on the top, which you can attach close to your nose, so the mask fits your face. Easy to use. The only thing is what I experienced, because now in every bag I have so many masks, um, that they wrinkle. So yeah, it's a one-time use mask, so throw it away after you have used it. Mask number two is the KN95 mask. This one I used for my travels on a long haul flight. Why? Because it has space between your nose and your mouth. You look like a duck. It's like this. Wark, wark, wark. It also has the metal thing. It's not too tight up to your face. I used this mask for my long haul flight back to Europe. Because of the space between the nose and the mouth, you can breathe easily. It's not too tight on your face and you also can sleep with it and you don't have the sleeping marks to it. And mask number three is the Jersey fashion material mask. You have seen them now in all kinds of colors with logos and uh, I just got mine. We got the 95 disco mask, um, the smiley mask and you have also seen me probably walking around with this one. The good thing is it's um, it's big, it covers the nose and the mouth area, it's uh, fashionable and the good thing is you can reuse it, wash it, throw it in your bag, pull it out when you have to do groceries and wash it for the next time of use. I will also give away some at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Let's get back to my travel experience. From the United States I had booked the flight which was cancelled a week before and then I had to look for new flights but those flights were 10,000 euros and I was like hell no I'm not gonna fly so I stayed a little bit longer checked the prices and then I found a flight back to Europe through New York that was pretty scary the airport in Miami was a ghost town. Only two checking counters were open. I looked around, I flew with United. I've never experienced an airport like this before. I checked in, it was pretty smooth. The first flight, I was shocked that it was fully booked and no middle seat was free to New York. Then once in New York, everything, the stores were closed. Um, it felt like a ghost airport, really out of a movie. On the second flight home to Europe, there were six people on the flight with 13 people grew. It was pretty safe to fly. We had to fill in a health declaration for it, to not have any symptoms or be in contact with people who have been tested positive. And they also did a really, really, really strong check of passport holders. No US citizen or US passport holders were allowed on that flight back to Europe. Once I arrived in Europe, I got the check. An officer asked me all kinds of questions and I have to quarantine myself. Some areas in some cities have been very strict. So you have to, have to register yourself. So they called you randomly throughout this period of 14 days if you're at home and if you follow the rules. And also they have sent people to your address to ring on the door and check if you are at home. I also experienced some traveling with the train and I was stuck in a German city. Obviously in the train you also have to wear a mask, keep the mask on, mouth and nose have to be covered. I also had uh, some cancellations of trains where people panicked, how do I get to my de final destination and you know, once you know it, everybody is out of the train, not wearing a mask and going to the information desk and I'm like, Whoa! and now from my flight from Switzerland to Amsterdam, 
I uh, was pretty impressed that the airport was kind of normal of capacity. I made sure I checked in online so I didn't have to go and wait in many lines. The security check was surprisingly just five minutes. Everything went smooth. I saw people wearing no mask. So I asked uh, somebody, do we have to wear a mask? Don't we have to wear a mask at the airport? And he said, if you keep the distance of the one and a half meter, you are allowed to not wear a mask. So I walked to the gate, the gate seemed pretty quiet and I was like, yes, the flight is not full once prior to boarding time. People came out of their halls and lined up for the flight to board. Then we had to put on our masks and surprisingly, this flight was full. Fully booked, no middle seat free, so no social distancing. I had strange feelings for someone who moves around on a flight, works, eats, always has their own food with. This time was kind of strange. I had a middle seat, I didn't move. I just sat there the whole flight, had my mask on, had my drink. The service also was very limited and uh, waited until we touched down. Uh, we also got a health declaration form. What we have to fill in, they do random checks and pick you out. I didn't get picked out, so that's why I have mine still here. Basically, you fill in if you have symptoms or if you have been in contact with somebody. So what I also noticed is that the captain did an announcement to close the air filter buttons above the passenger seats just to limit the extra circulation of the air. We still have to be careful and keep the safety on board and everywhere we go and also with the older people. I also will give away some of my masks here in this video. All you have to do is comment below why you should win them and also I will post a picture on Instagram. Comment on that picture why you should win the mask and then I will pick some lucky winners and send them right to you so you are safe and trendy doing crosseries and traveling. So guys, this was it. I hope to be back with a sunset session today or this week. Fingers crossed that the weather stays. Uh, the forecast isn't that positive, but we stay positive with music. Check out the other videos and let me know how you are doing and I catch you very soon here on the channel. Thank you guys for watching and also share your travel experience with me when you have some tips and tricks and I uh, talk to you soon. Bye.